Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Hafner. Welcome to Sports Psych in a Minute, your weekly resource for insights and tips into the psychological side of equestrian sport. A week and a half ago, my son Justin and I did a lecture and demo on our Pathways to Unity program. Last week in Sports Psych for a Minute, I talked about one of the fundamental uh, principles we work on, which is the importance of safety and security and, the, and a, the importance of a secure base in order for us to engage our curiosity and our interest and willingness to explore and to play and to engage the world. Today I want to talk about another principle. Uh, it's a little bit uh, difficult and maybe a little bit harder to get our hands around in terms of how this can be helpful to us. But the idea is that horses and riders and horses and riders together, the systems are really, really complex. Now, one direction you can go with that complexity is to say, oh my God, there's so much to pay attention to, there's so much to think about, so much to know. For some, it can feel overwhelming. It's really not the spirit around which we are talking about the complexity of the system. Obviously, we can't take all of that complexity in all the time, and there's many helpful and useful ways to simplify things in terms of what we need to be doing with ourselves for ourselves, simplifying things in terms of the application of the aids and the maneuvers we have with our horses, simplify things in terms of what we're focused on and understanding and trying to accomplish with our horse. And we can use those frames, those simplified frames, to help us progress and to accomplish certain goals on our pathway. Now, the reason that we want to remember about complexity and in our catchphrase is it's complicated, is two things. First of all, unlike simple things and simple machines where you have a, put in an input and the you know what the output is going to be every time. Input leads to an output. Invariantly, the same inputs lead to the same outputs. It's in remembering that it's complicated, we're reminded that most of the things that we do in the world and most of the things that we're going to be doing with our horses are not going to function in that way that our expectation is not going to be that we're going to get the same thing out every time we put the same thing in. Why is this helpful? Well, it's helpful because it reminds us that what we're working on is a system that's based on probability, not exactness. Each time we're working on developing a skill or a pathway, training our horses or training ourselves, what we're working on is trying to increase the probability of a particular outcome when we put a particular input in. Because it's complicated, we may not always get exactly what we're looking for. And this understanding that it's probabilistic helps us be forgiving of ourselves when we don't get the exact outcome that we want. We can appreciate, oh, even if I didn't get the exact outcome I want, I can still work on increasing the probability of that good outcome. The other thing which is really hopeful, and I believe that every one of us has some kind of experience in this way, is that systems that are really complicated, sometimes you can make one really, really small change in one place and leads to really, really big change in outcome. If you've ever ridden in a clinic and had a particularly perceptive clinician suggest one little tiny change in what you're doing and then you go and, and you do it and some amazing things happen in your horse's body and in their movement and you're able to do stuff that you couldn't imagine before. All of that comes from an appreciation and an understanding that it's complicated, that there's a lot of things going on. So. When you're learning, when you're moving forward, when you are uh, training your horse, when you are perfecting things for competition, just remember it's complicated and 
that the goal of what you're doing with yourself and with your horse is not to create a simple machine where at the same input creates the same output every time, but in that partnership with your horse, what you're working on is increasing the probability of the good things happening and knowing that sometimes if you can make small changes in really important things, you can create great changes in the outcome. I'm Dr. Paul Hafner. This has been Sports Psych in a Minute. I'll look forward to seeing you next week.